Five hours done. Okay, it's like 3.30. I had always wondered what's behind that door. It'll be over soon. You're still here. It is like 1.45 a.m. We'll see what happens. Good night. It is currently 8.12 a.m. and for the next 24 hours, that is going to be my home. I have a study room reserved to explain the rest of it, so without further ado, this is my last bit of outside for a while, so let's go inside. Literally had to get a new one card yesterday because I realized every single study room is now tapped open instead of swipe like my old one was. Which is really annoying that they just did that randomly. I was only able to get one bottle of water, two granola bars, and this Chick-fil-A breakfast that I picked up on the way here, which I'm about to eat. So after that, I'm gonna have no like actual food left, and I'm gonna have to rely on like friends in the area to pick up and drop me off food or just use my resources or use the vending machines. I have no idea how that's gonna go. Now within this challenge, within these 24 hours in Davis, there's gonna be five challenges that I need to complete to make this a little more interesting. And those challenges are, one, to spend at least one hour in every floor of Davis. So one through eight, I need to spend at least an hour in each of them, which one and two and maybe eight are not gonna be that bad, but three through seven, they're literally identical and I hate all of those middle floors. I never study there, so that's not gonna be fun. Two, I need to make a friend, AKA have a conversation with a stranger at some point during this video. Three, I need to find a random book out of all of Davis. I'm gonna have some randomizer to pick it and then read 20 pages of whatever book that is. And I need to finish my productive to-do list, which you can see here. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff that I need to catch up on, so hopefully this time is gonna allow me to do all of it, but I wouldn't be surprised if I somehow end up procrastinating. Right, without further ado, let's get this day started. I'm gonna have my Chick-fil-A and uh, just work here because I have this room reserved for an hour. This is on the seventh floor, so count this as the seventh floor hour. That hour actually flew by and I haven't gotten kicked out of the study room yet, which is great. But the um, issue is I am now out of real food and I need to start being productive because I've got class in two hours and I have an assignment due for it that I have not yet started on. And you might be wondering how am I going to class if I'm in here for the next 24 hours? Well, I got lucky and today both of my classes were moved online. That's actually the main reason I did it today was, was because I knew I didn't have to actually go to class. So at noon I have a class and I do have to present something in that class which I'm about to grind out for the next two hours. And um, yeah, I relocated to the second floor. If y'all don't know, the second floor is my favorite floor. It's, it's where I feel the most productive. Two hours later. Five hours done and 19 to go. Uh, I just made it to a third floor study room that I had reserved for the next hour. So after this is done, I should be done with second, third, and seventh floor, which all sounds great. But let me tell you about the problems. First of all, my laptop's about to die, so I'm gonna use the charger in here while I can. I already feel burnt out on work just from doing that assignment for class for an hour and a half before it, but there's still a lot of stuff on the productive to-do list that I have to finish. Three, I don't have another study room reserved until like 10.30 p.m. I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff just outside, especially on these floors. That kind of sucks because I just don't like working on the wooden chairs and stuff like that. And the last problem is I'm starting to get hungry again. And I think Bottom of Lenore closes in like an hour, hour and a half, which would probably be the most convenient place for someone to pick up food for me. So I need to identify someone that's in the area and ask if they'd be willing to do that pretty quickly. <sighs> I'm seeing my some of my friends in group chats text like sitting on the quad and stuff or going to lunch on Franklin. Meanwhile, I'm succumbing myself to sit in room 3052 of Davis Library alone while this is the weather outside. <sighs> It'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. <laughs> Got booted out of that study room like as soon as 2 o'clock hit. I'm just walking back to the elevator and looking at some of the books and I'm just dreading the possibility of getting one of these to read because I mean, look at this. All volumes of this, the Scottish Historical Review. Each one of them is like 500 pages. I, I could care less. But. but anyways, it's cool because I have a delivery pending. <laughs> 
bring you any clutch. My guy Samir came in so clutch with bringing me sushi nara. I called him up because I saw he was on campus and I was like, yo, uh, can you do me a big favor? And he did it. Uh, he didn't want to come in because he said he can't stand studying at this library, which is fair. That's honestly a sentiment I've heard from a lot of seniors and I don't mind it, but I'm starting to get to that point. And honestly, the whole reason I'm doing this is like, it's kind of my whole last hurrah, my send off of Davis Library with how many hours I've spent here over the years in general. But yeah, I'm not that hungry right now, but I chose Sushi Nara because it's a lot of food. It should fill me up for a while in case things go south for dinner. Say hi, Issa. This may or may not be the last time you see her in this video. Ever again. Or ever again. <laughs> Don't say that. Okay, it's like 3.30. I ate half of my food and ran into my friend Issa, so I hung out with her for a bit. And by the way, I want to make it clear that I'm not like actively telling my friend to come here to just like hang out because I feel like that would make it a lot easier and it's supposed to be a hard challenge. So it's only if I just randomly run into them. But yeah, I'm relocating now to the fourth floor. Oh. I'm just crying out work for this next hour. Let's do some philosophy. More friends on the fourth floor in Davis. Completely unplanned, by the way. I spent a minute on this fourth floor. It's like almost six o'clock, but I did get done one of the things under my philosophy productive list, which I'm glad to finally be over, but now I'm gonna head back down to the first floor to get some air. Yeah, my friend Ryan, who was in a couple of clips ago, was saying that he always studies in the fourth floor when he comes here and that he really likes it, which is so weird to me because I always think of floors three through seven as like virtually identical. I guess I'm wrong, so. Another thing I want to do in my last good bit of hours here is to just explore as much as I can. I want to see what makes them different. Okay, getting my first floor uh, hour done right now. Um, and also, if you were wondering what happened to my second class of the day, it was supposed to be at 5, but I ended up getting cancelled for the day. So, yeah, that never happened. Uh, and I was able to do more philosophy instead. But now I'm editing a video for a little bit before heading up to one of the lounges on the upper floors for sunset is the goal. I used to go to these lounges a lot in freshman year. I uh, haven't been back in a while though. You guys say hi. Hello. <laughs> More friends on the first floor and I found an actual working outlet. That's great. Finally, one exciting thing happened in Davis. Someone dropped a notebook from there over there. Now they're running to pick it up. <laughs> this is what my lunch is coming. Um, anyways, in other news, it's 9 o'clock, which means I'm almost into hour 13 with new friends. Hi, Yurika. Hi, Audit. I used to still chilling. Uh, we keep grinding. Cannot focus on anything anymore. All right. Uh, 10 p.m. update, finally giving up this first floor table because I gotta get upstairs, finish my challenges, and I have a dinner delivery coming very soon. This place is still crowded as hell. I forget that it's midterm season right now. Okay, back on the sixth floor. This floor is extremely quiet for whatever reason, but I found another friend. Say hi, Kathy. She's helping me scheme where I should spend the night in here. Midnight update, it is 12.07, it is a new day. You're still here. Um, I've completed like one of the challenges on my list. Let's do the randomization one now. I move study rooms, I'm in like the big eighth floor study room now that's always super impossible to get because they're first come first serve. But it's almost 1 a.m. so let's figure out what book we're gonna get. So here I have a bunch of randomizers that's gonna figure out what exact book I'm gonna get from it. So this first one here is for what floor? Three through eight are the ones with all the books. So we are gonna get floor three. And this tells me which like row of books it's gonna be. Row 39, okay, that's not bad because I can just go to the second last one. This tells me if it's gonna be on the left or the right stack. So that's the left side, left side of the 39th shelf on floor three. So it tells me which height of book to get. So the sixth, I can reach that. Yeah, I can reach that. <laughs> and then this one tells me which shelf horizontally. The sixth one. Okay. 
And then finally, this one tells me which exact book to get. Um, I roughly estimated that there was 20 on each shelf, but it could be off. Alright, 10th. Okay, I think I have that all memorized. Let's go. I am on the third floor of Davis, and we're looking for the 39th shelf, so this way. 30, 39. And we said left side, so 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 4, 6. So we landed on How to Read the Bible by Harvey Cox. Not an extremely applicable book to me, but still could be interesting. Let's see. Genuinely, that was pretty interesting. Just about a dude who thought religion was like all made up and stuff, and, and then his realization to come to be more spiritual and stuff like that. So not a bad find for every single book in Davis, because there are some that are going to be actually torture. We have another 1 a.m. soldier in Micah here. It is, what is it? My watch is dead. It's like 1.30, right? This place is basically empty. There's this lake for like what they're studying for. Uh, to ask you. Uh, All right. So, what's your name? Madeline. Madeline. It is like 1.45 a.m. Madeline was working on a lab report. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I just went downstairs for the final time. And now, all the challenges are completed except for the fifth floor of the first one. So it's time to find a place to sleep on the fifth floor. Here we go. It's 2.01 a.m. We'll see what happens. Good night. I got kicked out. <laughs> I got freaking kicked out. It's like 2.40 in the morning. I actually put the lights are still on and the janitor saw me. There's only one janitor in the whole building and they saw me. <sighs> but hey, that 40 minutes was enough to complete all of our challenges. And in the spirit, we are gonna effectively do the same thing and fall asleep in the union instead because there's a little part of it that is open 24 seven. So that's where we're going. Campus is so peaceful at this time. Good morning and happy hour 23. This was my bed for the night. You know what? It may not have been Davis, but that was still a very rough night. People kept coming in and out and all of that. But I will say there was this one girl that was at the table across from me that was there from like straight 3 a.m. when I got there till 7.45 now when I'm leaving. And she was like straight grinding, focused on that table the entire time. Like, I, I don't think I could ever pull an all nighter like that, but props to her. Cause, um, these would have been an excellent place to sleep, but... Um, they closed the whole union, only that sliver of the annex is open at night, so. I don't even know what the weather is like. I don't even remember what it was for like the 30 seconds I've been outside for the last 24 hours, but here we go. The, another quick 30 second walk to Davis. This was the one thing I wanted to do before leaving. I had always wondered what's behind that door behind the main reading room on the first floor. And would you look at that? It's just more doors and more stairs. Today I discovered that Davis has walking treadmills. Never knew that. There's four of them out here on this fifth floor lounge. What the heck? I'm still going to consider this challenge a success because 24 hours just in this two block vicinity has been hard enough. I am so excited to go back and shower and sleep and come back here for my class at 11, but we'll get there when we get there. So any other variations of this challenge or place on campus you want to see me try it, let me know. And yeah, without further ado, it is 8.22 right now. 
So we are well into the 24th hour. I am delirious. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> Goodbye, Davis Library. It was a fun one. I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.